Okay, so we have this question here. They give us a bunch of data. All they want us to do is plug all this data into L1 and L2 and find the linear regression. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video while I enter because it's kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to put all the X values into L1 when you go to stat. Go to that, stat, edit. I'm going to put all the X values into L1, all the Y values into L2. Let me pause this and I'll turn it back on once I have all the data input. Okay, so I have all the data entered. It's a lot, but X is in L1, Y is in L2. So I'm going to go back to stat. And we're going to find the linear regression. We're going to go to calculate, linreg option four. My X values are in L1, my Y values are in L2. So I'm going to scroll down to calculate and I get my printout. So you just make sure you want to write it uh, in terms of Y and X. So we have Y equals. 3.203, this is three decimal places, so yeah, 3.203. X minus 152.190. That's it. That's the linear regression. Okay, this one we haven't seen yet because we're going to do this uh, tomorrow, but I will show you how to do it. Um, the goal here when you want to solve a system is you want to get matching opposite coefficients in front of either variable. Matching, same number, opposite, one's positive, one's negative, coefficients in front of either the x's or the y's. It doesn't matter. I don't know why they put this plus sign. But if I wanted to get rid of the x's first, I could multiply the first equation by negative 4, so I'd have plus or minus negative 4 in front of the x's. If I want to get rid of the y's, I'll multiply the second equation by negative 2. So that's what I'll do, just because it's a little easier. So the top equation I'm just going to rewrite. This is going to be x plus 2y equals negative 7. And then the bottom I'm going to have negative 2 times 4x, which is negative 8x. Negative 2 times y, which is negative 2y, equals negative 2 times negative 7, which is positive 14. So now I have matching opposite coefficients in front of the y's. So why do I do that? So once I have that, I can add the equations together, and the y should cross out. So I have x plus negative x. That's negative 7x. 2y and negative 2y, they cross out. That's why I did that. And then I have negative 7 plus 14, which is positive 7. So solving for x, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 7. And I get x equals negative 1. We are not done yet. That's just going to be this guy, negative 1. And then I need to figure out what y is, so I can take negative 1, plug it back into either equation. I'll plug it back into the first one. So we have x, which is negative 1, plus 2y equals negative 7. I'm going to add 1 to both sides, so I get 2y equals negative 6. Dividing by 2, I get y equals negative 3. So my answer is going to be negative 1 negative three. Again, if you're not super comfortable with that, don't worry. That's what we're going to spend tomorrow's class working on. So um, you will see plenty of examples of how to do this stuff.